This video is going to discuss uh, leveling and XP farming in Season of the Horizon, uh, the week one edition of that anyways. And this is just basically giving you some extra information on what you can do, what the best, what, what good things you can do to level up. This is going to focus on PvE elements, I'm not going to be playing any PvP at all, apart from a pinnacle that you need to get in PvP, that is it. The rest of everything that I, the way I farmed was all PvE, so I didn't go in and play comp, I know you can do that, but... I, I literally can't stick PvP in this game, so I don't play it. So if you want to do comp, do that. You can level up really fast, but this is going to be dedicated for just mainly the PvE side of stuff. So the first thing you want to um, decide is what class do you want to be your main um, for power? What class do you want to be your highest? If you've only got one class, then obviously it doesn't apply to you. But if you've got three or two, it applies to you. So whatever you want your highest character to be, you do that last. You don't do it first. People make that mistake because they want to go on their main. They want to go on the main. They want to check Voidwalker. They want to check Nightstalker. Refrain yourself. Hold yourself. And play on your worst character first. So what I've done is I went on Hunter, then Titan, then Warlock in the end. Right, you might need to spend a couple of days at a time on each character. I think I spent two days on the Hunter, a day or two on the Titan, and then like a day on the Warlock. So you've got to really you know, push for the um, level for each class, but when you do it like this, you can hop up levels a little bit better because you've just times three all your pinnacles. Now you've got more pinnacles than just having one, obviously. So I went Hunter, Titan, Warlock, and my Warlock obviously did end up being the highest, but only just because I got destroyed on pinnacles this week, but that's a topic for another video. Anyways, so you decide that first. But when you're going on your first class, so I went on Hunter, right? So I'll just, give, I'll just talk you through an example of what I've done. It's difficult because all the pinnacles and the powerfuls have been consumed so you can't see it on screen but I'll just talk you through it quickly. So obviously I come on, I've done legendary campaign straight away. We've done the legend campaign straight away. In a fire team, not solo because you're going to slow yourself down. Don't be focused on trying to solo like legend campaign. I don't know what, you've just lost yourself so much hours of time because you're trying to solo something already. Like, why? Your focus is not solo. I mean, I'm somebody who solos all the time, you know that. But your focus is not solo. Your focus is leveling. You do what it takes to level. It's not nothing to do with solo. I can do solo any time. You can do solo. You can replay this campaign any time and prove yourself. For now, you need to focus on leveling. So you do this in a team. Legend campaign. We finish at the end. Obviously, ritual. You get the 15, 20 gear guaranteed in all the slots. What do you do then? Then you do Powerfuls. There's Powerfuls, Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3, and Pinnacles. So there's Powerfuls all over the shop. I, 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 as I said, it's all being consumed. But there's Powerfuls all over to do. So you just look at what the Powerfuls are. For example, Helm has um, a good, good set of powerful Psyops. Because what it is with Psyops, if you farm Psyops, it has its own ranking system. So you can go Brave, Hero, Fabled, he Heroic, all that stuff. But each major rank gives you an extra powerful, and an extra powerful. It keeps going up, it starts at 2, or 3, and then it goes to 4, then it goes to 6 completions. Uh, it's insane, Psyops is really good leveling on your first character, that's what I've done. And then i also done a bit of Nightfall strikes, right, so I've done that because with Zaval is the same thing, he has a reputation rank. So you go on him, and he, each major rank gives you a powerful drop, so I was farming powerfuls, off him rather than doing pinnacles farming powerfuls off a particular playlist you can do the, it's the same is true for pvp the same is true for gambit right so you can just do that um, but once you've exhausted all powerfuls you if you're getting like 15 40 it, you could do a pinnacle or two if you wanted but i would refrain from doing that i kind of messed up my pinnacles a little bit and sort of oh i'll go and do my pinnacles going if you get a 1540 gear, first character, that's great. Switch your 1540 weapons over to your next character. Which for my case would be the Titan. So I would do that. But here's the thing, when you get onto your second character, don't do Legend Campaign again. You are wasting your time. Don't do it. I see so many people are still on Legend Campaign now doing it. With a week in, and you've got so much more to do. There's exotic quests to do, there's that to do, there's leveling to do. You're behind because of that. So don't do it. What you need to do is level Finch Ghost up. Or go to Zavala, Gambit, whatever you've played the most. They will have engrams for you. You pick those engrams up. 
obviously you swap all your weapons over to your second character from your hunter so i swapped all my weapons from hunter to titan then you level up all your armor your goal is armor finch the finch ghost has a bunch of armor to pick up from him if you get rank 30 with finch uh the ghost you will get you'll have 30 engrams there i had 30 engrams so what i done is i used those engrams and just turned them in and i got to 1540 i believe in like 20 minutes just because of this simple thing like so there was no point in doing 1520 um legend the legendary campaign because i can get 1540 just by standing here handing these in right so that's all i've done now there's sometimes you might get bumped the weapons there's these to pick up as well you know if your weapons are 1540 1550 and your armor's 1300s so you're going to go up so fast and the legend and doing standard campaign so not don't do legend you do the standard you must do standard campaign to unlock the ghost you get so many blues doing classic i done classic on my titan to speed it i sped run it um took me an hour and a half got it done and then i'm on to powerfuls and pinnacles right so the same thing applies exhaust all powerfuls don't do any pinnacles on your um, titan until you get a 1547 1547 now the reason why it's not 1550 and 1547 is because of this pinnacles are a plus five below 1550 but they're a plus two above 1550 so what the game's got are confused because your 1547 it'll give you a plus five drop which means it goes to 1552 automatic another trick that is hard to do but it is a thing and just hit bear with me on this because no one's mentioned this if your 1549 gear when you get prime engrams they drop at 1551 but when you get to 1550 gear they drop back to 1550 so try and farm when you're 1549 try and farm some 1551 primes because if you can get in some armor, it's going to help towards the grand scheme of stuff. It's hard to do because blues might end up accidentally leveling into 1550, but it's a trick that you can do. I farmed two or three 1551s on my Titan while I was doing bounty XP farm. So it's sort of, I was multitasking doing this, the two things at once. So that's just that. Obviously, then you would complete all your pinnacles. So I'll just tell you what the pinnacles are, right? So let's just say what the pinnacles are. Because there's plus twos and plus ones. So once you're over 1550, what are the pinnacles to do? Well, number one thing, before you do any um, throne world pinnacles, I've heard rumors, and I think it might be true, make sure you up upgrade Finch Ghost to rank 30 and e e equip, uh, pick up all his items. Well, all the upgrades. So all these green ones, pick them up. And then I think there's a triumph called Buddy Up. Uh, it's somewhere on here. Honestly, I couldn't find it, but there's a triumph called Buddy Up, and basically, just pick them all up, 14 upgrades or whatever, and you're, you're less likely to bug out Wellspring Master, right? So this will unlock extra pinnacles, right? So you've got um, Master Wellspring to unlock, and replayable missions. Both of these are extra pinnacles. So you can do Legend. This is 100k, it's like a Nightfall. Do, do, do the Legend, do it in a team. You can even solo it, to be honest. As long as you're over 1550, it's not a problem to do that. However, Wellspring's a different thing. Now, I'm just going to tell you, it bugged out for me. I never got a pinnacle on my first character that I'd done this on. I think it might, might have been my Titan or whatever. But the, I think the reason why I never did is because I didn't have Finch Ghost at the time upgraded to rank 30. As soon as I upgraded in rank 30, none of the pinnacles bugged out, especially for Wellspring. Because they have been bugging out and not getting pinnacle rewards, even though you're doing it. It's the hardest pinnacle to do this week. So make sure you get it right. So upgrade Ghost before you start doing pinnacles. Uh, sort of, like, especially the, the throne ones. So, weekly mission, 100k is plus 2. Wellspring Master only is plus 2, as long as you get the drop. Vox Obscura is kill champions, it's a plus two. Um, these are powerful, so reflection. He's a powerful himself. They're not pinnacles though. So the other pinnacles are Dares of Eternity is a plus two. It's only on the higher difficulty. Grasp of Avarice is a pinnacle, but only the boss fight. You can do the 1350, you don't need to do a master. But the thing about Dares of Eternity is do Dares of Eternity when you need to backfill on armor. Because you get base power drops from the yoga fight, the sparrow fight, the sparrow section, 
um, and the fallen shield thing. You'll get base power drops, which, you, like for example, I did here, and you can just infuse all that stuff. Uh, that's when you need a lot of armor. Now the boss himself, he might give a weapon, he might give armor. It just depends. Um, over plus twos, knife for one hundred k. You can do that on legend. Don't do it on hero. It's tight on hero. Legend, you better do that. Um, and that's literally it for the plus twos. So for plus ones, right, you've got Gambit. When you want to backfill on, on a piece, you know, do the plus ones. But generally, use the plus ones as a crutch to get to the next power. So Gambit, three games, uh, Vanguard Strikes, and PvP. PvP, um, whatever it might be, Control, Momentum. You can pick either of the playlists. So that's what you would do. Obviously, you'd use the uh, example that I used before, where you check on Destiny 2 Power Card to see if you can get to the next level and to the next level. Right? And then, obviously, you'd finish on your final character. Uh, so, just to show what um, the ornament set just looks like quickly. So, I haven't unlocked it on all my classes, just Warlock. So, that's what the set looks like. The ornament, that's what the ghost is. If you're going to do it, make sure you get blind, uh, blind and light on, which I didn't mention. And then, that's the, the sparrow. That's it. Uh, now to talk about seasonal times. So seasonal challenges are weekly, right? Now I've done them all and turned them in. Uh, I recommend that you don't do that, but if you want week one season uh, rank 100, then you sort of got to, like it sort of helps out. But for the most of you, just wait until reset. You'll get the weekly buff. When you get the weekly buff, uh, you get um, a, a boost to XP gains. When you hand these in, you get more XP, and they're insane for, for XP gains. So next week, when we get a week two, don't pop any triumphs unless you have to for, for quest purposes. You'll then get more XP that way, and, and this is where the XP grind comes in. So in terms of what you want to do for XP, that's level and sorted. So I've talked about it at length as much as possible, but now talking about XP. So I've done all the dailies and weeklies on all my other characters apart from Titan this, this particular day. So taking you through it. Obviously when you've got quests, it's going to take up slots. Like I've got these stupid tokens, but um, just, to, just ignore that. So for the most part, what bounties do you want to be doing? Well, obviously you do want to be doing weeklies, but... If you've already pre-popped bounties from last season, this season, you won't have any weeklies to do. Maybe Dream and City, because Dream and City bounties now have XP linked to them. So Dream and City bounties have been fixed. So the bounties you can see that I've got, a lot of the, a lot of them are dailies, but some of them are repeatables. Now, if you do this sort of sort of 60 bounties per class a day, that's 180 bounties, which is a lot. Um, but if you do that, then uh, you'll get about half a million XP per class, so 1.5 million a day, if you do it. And these, I would say 60 bounties takes me, I mean, the ones I've got here, it's going to take me an hour and a half um, to, do each to do each class. You do this after your pinnacles. So, good bounties to do are Gunsmith, Cosmodrone, and Strikes, because you can triple dip all these bounties. So, if you didn't know, you can go on the Strike, Solo, this is Solo Server now. Uh, it's on Cosmodrone, sorry. The Disgrace. This is the best strike in the game for it, in my eyes. You load up your Solo Server, which, if you don't know how to do that, I'll post it down below. How do you make Solo match make for PS5? Uh, I don't know how you do it on Xbox. There is a way of doing it. PC has its own way of doing it. Check your platform how you do it, but down below will be the PlayStation version. You make a Solo Server, then you go and launch Disgrace. The reason why is because the Cosmodrome bounties that you have picked up will work in here, the Gunship bounties will also work in here, and the Strike bounties will work in here. Not all of them, though. It depends what it says. Like, this one says, in Vanguard playlists, right? In Strikes and Vanguard playlists. So this is, this is, just depends. So this one wouldn't work in the... They've nerfed it slightly. The bounties are reworded a little bit. So what you would do then is, do your Disgrace Strike, farm all your bounties that you can, then come to PsyOps, uh, Vanguard Ops, and then launch that, and then do the remainder bounties in whatever strike that you get. You'll be solo server. There's no one to interrupt. 
your kills or anything. There is a downside to it, you won't get completion XP at the end of the strike because you won't be completing the strike, but you will rapid fire those bounties so fast, which I'll show you the footage coming up. You'll do that, right, and then um, once you've done that, then you can go to Europa, uh, whatever it might be. Moon bounties, they're easily done in Lost Sectors. Here's the thing with the Psyops. Pick the Psyops bounties up because they can be done on a uh, throne world so you can combine the blue bounties with the green bounties. So the blue bounties and the green bounties can all be done on the throne world. And you can farm it via a Lost Sector called... Find the name out for it. This is the Lost Sector I've been farming all week, Extraction. Farm everything throne world based in Extraction. But if it's a public event, you can't. Don't do public event bounties. I recommend you don't even do them. They're a waste of time. Just the Lost Sector style bounties. Dreaming City, pick them up. If you've got the fragments, buy the weeklies, do a set of challenges and stuff like that. Zer bounties are good to do. Um, which I sold a server on those. And then this one's your weekly, which is XP++. So do a Zer one as well. You may as well uh, when you're in a team. But I do end up solo serving for Zer. Because some of them are just quicker just to do on your own. Which I show footage of that. So I show footage of the extra tips. And lastly as well is New Light. So New Light is... Um, if you've got New Light campaign missions on a character and you've got nothing else to do, they're actually kind of worth doing. You get a lot of XP off doing them. Right, so I haven't got them on here, but um, you'll see on the footage coming up these blue ones, right? Uh, just depends, you know, what they are, but I'll, I'll show in the footage coming up. So this is just footage of the Disgrace Strike, right? This isn't in the playlist itself, but this is just the strike off the planet. Just showing you that you can just sort of rapid fire, uh, complete all your bounties. You can see I'm in solo, so just showed you that. So there's no one to bother me. There's no one to steal all these kills. And it just means that, th with this being an ad dense strike, I can get all the kills I need. One thing that you need to prep though, before you start doing 60 bounties on your character, is have all weapons ready to swap to, there and then. Think it all through before you start. Last thing you want to be doing is on your phone, or on um, the Destiny Iron Manager, looking for weapons. Like get all that stuff sorted so that once you get in there, you can just spam all your weapons, you know. Um, as I said though, you can't do all the strike bounties in here. You can do all the guns with Cosgrove, but you can't do all the strike because some of them stayed in the Vanguard strike. Here's the thing with the solo server though, you can still activate the strike playlists on your own. So you can go in there on your own. It's RNG what strike you get. Right? It's, it's RNG that, but it's just a case of... It just depends what you get. Um, but as you can see here, just swapping to each weapon type. Quickly get my bounty done and then moving on because we all hate doing this I hate doing it right but it's just a thing that we've you, you've got to get on with especially the first month of a season you've got to sort first two three weeks you've got to get on with leveling it's just a case of what, what we've got to do until you can have fun like in the game so that's the remainder footage of um, of us doing that so this is solo server on days of eternity this is just showing you um, same thing as what I, it was with Disgraced. Obviously, you pick up, you, you know, your dailies and your um, repeatables. You know, you can just come in here and all the ads are safe. This is a standard days. This is not a uh, legend, right? So, uh, so that it's difficult. It's extremely good leveling on the Warlock, especially how good it is with Devour and things. Um, so, if you are a Warlock main, farm your bounties on your Warlock. Not to say that it's not good on a, on a Titan or a Hunter, but the, the Walk is pretty exceptional. In fact, it's got Devour and it's really good with, with its Void Walker. But as you can see, this is the same sort of footage. I'm just looking at what I need to do. Like, there's champions to be killed. That's fine. I've got Lament on. I need sort of kills anyways. So it, it, it's all about just prepping. I'll let this footage um, run through though.
So once you've done your 60 bounties on your class, for each class you want to turn them in. Now you want to take advantage of the fire team XP. So you want to go with your clan members or whatever, um, uh, whatever you want, and then just use Shared Wisdom. I went into Legend Dares of Eternity. Make sure you've got the Shared Wisdom buff before popping them. And then you want to just start popping them. Don't spam pop them, make sure that you get XP for each bounty. You don't want, it to, you don't want to go too quick so that it bugs out. That has happened in the past. So just, you know, one by one, hat, turn them, and you can see I'm at the amount of XP that I'm getting. Obviously, this will be better as time goes on. The higher people get, the more XP, you know. So, obviously, make sure you've got blind light on, all that stuff. But that's just showing you, that's what you want to do. You want to stack 60 bounties. Don't just keep turning them in one by one, like, and then do some more bounties. No, you want to do 60 bounties and turn them all in at the end. And that'll give you half a million XP per, per class. These next couple of clips are just extra information, just showing you the, the new light. I was doing a new light quest, which required you to do at my step. Disgraced, I ended up getting 17k just for that. Right, a Guardian Rises. So this new, the new light stuff, as I said, if you've got nothing else to do, and everything else is exhausted, it's good to do. Also, the Solar and the Arc subclass quests, when they pop, do those. Because you get like 15, 15k each from those, when you hand them in the tower, which... Can be affected by fire team XP buff if you're in a team as well. So hand them in a team if you can. And this is just lastly with the powerfuls. The powerfuls for each vendor are classed as weeklies. So they give you 15, 20k, whatever it is, 15, 17k each. So they're like extra bounties if you, if you think of it like that. Uh, obviously you only use them if you don't need a powerful. Uh, if you, if you, you, all your gear is you know, up to par that way. But... Obviously hand them in before the next reset. That was a uh, video on leveling and XP. Hope you enjoy. Thank you.